That's right. Pluto is going to be in Aquarius until March of 2043. That's like two decades. That's a long, long time. Now, I want to use this space to address something that I've been seeing a lot. And, you know, we're a lot of people are having this conversation right now. Like, I thought we were going to the age of Aquarius. I thought everything was going to be, you know, beautiful and humanitarian and power to the people. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry to do this. But Pluto in Capricorn did not destroy corporations. It made them more powerful. It made the 1% more wealthy because what Pluto does is it blows things out of proportion. It's like the atom bomb. You know, Pluto's discovery coincided with the creation of atom bombs. It's about blowing things up to ginormous proportions. And at the same time, though, it does also expose the insidious side, the undercurrent, the hidden secrets. Okay. It does, it does do those things. So I think about Occupy Wall Street and how that movement came about shortly after Pluto entered Capricorn. And it was for the first time people were saying, yeah, it's these people we should blame, not each other. It's these people. These people are pitting us against one another. It's these people that we should be upset at. And that's still true. But did it change anything? No, it really brought a lot more awareness. But Pluto and Capricorn let the wealthy 1% of the 1% get even more wealthier. And we're still seeing it. So what's Pluto and Aquarius going to be about? We're seeing it now. We're seeing the age of tech upon us. We are seeing tech billionaires influence elections We are seeing tech billionaires influence the way people think so that they think that the idea is even their own. We are all victims of this. Every single one of us who uses a smartphone, who engages with social media, the enemy of Pluto in Aquarius is the algorithm. And certainly technology is a tool. We can use it to our advantage. We can develop our own relationships with it. However, you know, there's... the topic of brain chemistry that we have to think about and how, um, you know, you think that you're just going to go on and look something up and you get sucked in. And it happens to all of us if you're not careful. So that's something that I think we all need to be really, really cautious of with Pluto and Aquarius over the next two decades is the power of the algorithm. And also, you know, how media influences the way that we think. And this is not a new concept at all. This is like a concept. This is like a sociological and psychological concept that's been popular for like over a hundred years about how media influences the way that we think. But this is going to take on a whole other level because we're constantly consuming it. We, We are, there is an entire subculture from being online. It's a totally other like dimension to exist in. It's like, it doesn't exist in the material realm. It's like, it's a totally whole other world. And Pluto and Aquarius is going to totally expound upon the powers of technology and its continued invasion into our lives. You know, we used to get the weather from somewhere else. We used to get directions from somewhere else. We used to use a, f- a phone attached to the wall. We used to take photos with a camera. Like these were all different, different things that we used to consult. And now it's this one thing and we're so dependent on it that we don't care that it listens to us and serves us advertisements. So that's just one of the things that Pluto and Aquarius is going to bring up even more. It's going to talk, Pluto and Aquarius is going to bring the conversation around ethics. It's going to bring deep questioning into what's ethical that these tech companies are doing. And it's much quicker to develop new ideas and just kind of like put them out there until the laws can catch up and say, hey, we have to protect kids from that. Or we have to protect people from that. Or that's like as addictive as a cigarette. We need to, we need to warn people about this. 
So I think we're going to see more warnings about technology as Pluto moves through Aquarius. So we talked a lot about this in um, previous videos and articles that I've done, research on Pluto and Aquarius. Um, I've done like a, a long video on Pluto and Aquarius, um, but that was before we really got like a strong serving of it. And we're going to be talking about Pluto and Aquarius nonstop for the next two decades. This is just the beginning. Um, now I guess there's like face scanners and, you know, I don't have to tell you guys this. You're online too, but it's like someone takes a selfie and then AI can find the person on the security camera taking their selfie and people are getting doxxed and like nothing is private. Nothing is private. Everything is on the internet forever and everyone has receipts and this is the world that we're entering. Okay. So Pluto and Aquarius is going to take AI and it's going to completely change our lives. It's This is the transit that corresponds with that. It's going to completely change our lives the same way that the smartphone has changed our lives. AI is going to do even more. And I think it's going to be just like the Pluto part is also kind of exposing all of that, like the fears around it or the secret, the secret plans around it or the non-intentional byproducts of, of this technology. At the same time, we're going to see tech billionaires have more and more influence. And like I said, they can influence us socially. They can, we can use technology to fight one another, you know, like that was something that a lot of people were concerned about is, um, you know, Russia certainly had a preference of who was going to win the U S election. And, um, there were influencers that were found being paid by Russia to to promote the the likability of Donald Trump. So this is the kind of stuff that we're seeing. Like we don't need hand to hand combat when you can influence the way people think and you can steer social tides with technology. So that's part of the nefarious nature of technology and how it can be used for terrible things. It can also be used for amazing things, for life-saving things, for convenient things. But there's a, a definite nefarious side to it. And that's what Pluto and Aquarius is going to be about, is the power of who controls our thoughts. Remember, Aquarius is fixed air. It's ideology. Okay, so who can, who can define um, the way that people think? Who, who pulls the strings? Now, now, I want to take this moment to say that in 2025, we're going to see several other planets changing signs. We're going to see Uranus enter Gemini for the first time in July. We're going to see Saturn enter Aries for the first time in May. And we're going to see Neptune enter Aries in March. So yeah. Neptune, March, um, Saturn, May, and Uranus, July, all changing signs. So that this is what a lot of people are saying, like we're entering a whole new era. We are, we are. It, it might be exciting, maybe, might be scary, maybe. Um, one thing that's for sure is that like everything is changing. And I think it's, I think it's AI. I think AI is really gonna shift the way that we operate as a society um, it's going to influence, it's going to influence a lot. Um, so we'll be talking more about those planetary shifts. I would like to point you to the articles I have on my website on Pluto and Aquarius. I would like to point you to my other video on Pluto and Aquarius, which I made like right before I gave birth to my son. <laughs> so, um, I think that was one of the like, last videos that I did before he was born, but anyhow, um, this is, this is our reality. So lock in whether we like it or not. I know this Pluto and Aquarius stuff makes me nervous too, if you couldn't tell. Um, but something I just keep coming back to is this is what we signed up for. We are souls in a body. We are spiritual beings having a human experience and this is part of the curriculum. This is what we signed up for. We're here to experience this. So the only way 
the only way is through. So here we are. Let's do our best with this Pluto and Aquarius and we'll stay vigilant with these tech companies and we will create our own limits with our tools if we, as we see fit. Um, but for right now, this is your Pluto in Aquarius astrology shot of the day, and I will catch you next time. Bye.